Oh, hi there, and welcome back to Minecraft. In this video, we're going to go over how to make custom skins using Miners Need Cool Shoes. Let's begin. So to begin, head on over to Google, type in Miners Need Cool Shoes, and look for the URL needcoolshoes.com. Click the link, or alternatively, click the link in the description of this video. Once you do that, you'll be presented with this page, and it, there's quite a lot of stuff to do, so we'll go through that step by step. But over here, we have our skin in question. That's that's where we begin. Uh, at the moment, there's nothing there, uh, but we can, we can add to it. We can start off by just creating something from there, or if you want to use something as a template, uh, then you can also do that. So if you, if you see here, in the left hand side there's a few different template ideas now this isn't by all means this is not the full range of the website it's just a few things to get you started so we click on this guy here for example that's steve with a with a weird arm um we could use that if you wanted to uh, that's that's fine um if you notice as well before we go too far when, when we go hover over the skin itself we've got a crosshair as a cursor if we come off that we've got a hand if you when you've got the hand if you click and drag you can rotate the body around if you try to do that while you're over the body you're, you're gonna draw all over it and um, you're gonna ruin that so uh, just be careful with that just be careful press control on z to get rid of it undo so say you've got that uh, but you want you maybe want another template there's a button here which is import uh, you can click on that and then you can just select other things now you can search things so say for example you wanted a zombie you can type zombie and it will bring up a bunch of different zombie stuff so we can say click on uh, but let's go for this one uh, no let's go for this one because it's different uh, we can add that and it adds the zombie here so we can we can play around with that if you notice here we we actually have layers so these are the, the all the other things that we had before they're still there we haven't got rid of that it's just the fact that they're laying on top of each other and this is going to be very useful because it helps you helps you control what you're doing and add the bits that you specifically want so if you there's the, the little eye here you can turn that on and off to see what's going on and we've got the bottom down here which is just the blank the blank one so if you want to remove one for example just click delete the layer there if you want to add a layer you just click add layer there so that's very useful you can you can mess around with it and you can move them around and drag them as that so you can put them in whatever order you want them uh, and obviously once they're all on it's going to show the the top one the one highest up here as the top layer so hopefully that makes sense now obviously you're going to end up with stuff like this if you if you start messing around but but yeah that's by the by also some other options if you wanted to import different things so again you click on the import button and there's a few things here so you can import a player skin by just typing the username up here you can add a solid color you can import from your computer or you can just generate something random so we just click that we're going to get a whole bunch of random stuff and as you can see we again we've got layers so we can take each layer off individually and you get different stuff so this is the arm this is um that's a, a jumper. I'm not quite sure what that is. I, I, I actually think that, that that's nothing there. Um, we've got um, some dungarees here, and, and then we've got uh, the basic body. <laughs> there you go. So yes, that's that's the random one. So let's look at some of the other features of this. So up here we have an undo button. So if you were to say draw over here and make a mistake, for example, you can just click that and undo it. Uh, over here we have two different, these are different types of layers. This is the outer, these are part of the skin itself. So you've got the, the skin and uh, it's sort of the overlay. So if we just take the overlay off, you can see here that we've got the, sort of the basic skin level. And uh, you can take the inner layer off and do that like that. So they, they, let's say there's two skins two layers of every skin and uh, that's how you turn them on and off you can do the same with each body part here so if you wanted to take the head off for example or you want to take an arm or, or a leg for example and you can just work on it so this is easy but this, this is really handy because it means you can work on certain things without worrying about making a mess or something else so let's say we wanted to create one with ourselves let's just remove all these bits because we don't we don't want these they're, they're all going to be in the way so let's just get rid of all of those and uh, let's import from the computer and let's upload one of our own there we go. That's our skin. That's uh, that's what we use day to day, and uh, that does the job. So yes, what do we want to do? We've got lots of things up here, uh, which we can help with this. So we've got up here, which we've already used the paint tool, which basically lets you draw over the top. Which again, we, we don't want to just do that. We've got the uh, the the rectangle tool, which again lets you draw, but at this time it does it in a, a rectangle, and you can change the color up here. Just clicking anywhere in the wheel uh, and go from there, and then you can adjust it with these bars if you wanted to sort of get a bit darker or lighter or, or adjust the hue or something so let's say we want to do a rectangular square around here then you could easily do that just like that uh, and we can also uh, use the fill tool which does the same sort of thing but if you click on that let's just remove the outer layer I think uh, click that fill and it just fills in the same color so if you notice I've got gradient colors so um, 
they're not all the same so that's why they're not all changing uh, if I do this there there'd be a lot more but yeah okay we want to undo all that stuff because we don't, we don't want to do that uh, so yeah let's say we want to make a change to this what should we change on our skin Perhaps we could change the colour of the hoodie, that sounds like fun. Now, we there are some buttons are here which I haven't gone through, so this one here is uh, this is showing you the brush size, so that's uh, one single block, that's 2x2 two two, and that's a 3x3. Three three. We also have the option to do uh, mirroring, which we'll come to in a moment, and a camo, which again we'll come to in a moment. But let's um, let's stick with the brush size, let's stick with this, um, we'll go for a medium one, and we'll change the colour of this, the, the jacket, uh, or the jumper, and let's go for... Uh, why don't we have a yellow? I, I haven't worn yellow before, so let, let's um, let's tweak that. Um, yeah, do you know what? I think that that looks pretty good. So we've got that, and then we'll click the camo button, and then we'll start drawing. So um, if we just to be on the safe side, we take off all the bits we don't want to change. So let's get rid of the head, let's get rid of the legs, because we don't want to draw on them by accident, because um, it's very easy to do. If you if you look here, you can whoa do that, and that makes a mess. So um, let's just get rid of the, the legs, and we've got nothing to worry about. Uh, and um, we'll just start here. So um, just start clicking around there. Now, obviously, I've got to be careful because I've got the, the bigger brush not to sort of mess it up. That's looking quite nice, jazzy, uh, but then we need to obviously make sure we get the different angles. So um, let's let, let's do the top, and uh, obviously if the head was there, you wouldn't be able to do this because it'd be in the way. But when you when you load up the Minecraft world, you're going to look silly because you'll look up and uh, there'll be a flappy head and there'll be the wrong colour underneath. So we need to fix that. We need to make sure it's all right before we start. Okay, that's the top, and then we want to do this, the same on the sides, like so and the back and for this big because this is big I'm just gonna use the the larger brush size because it's gonna make it much much quicker for me to do that uh, and a uh, uh, less less chance of uh, having to go over it again perfect and then the final side bish bash and bosh but you say yes okay it's not quite ready yet because we actually need to take off the arms as well because if you notice we've got we've got some blue on there which we have to get rid of uh, so we need to do that on both sides like so but of course it's not just the arms; it's the the sides of the arms as well. So we need to we need to tweak them in there as well. And there you go. So that's that. We can start laying the other colours back on. And uh, there you go. We got a nice new jacket. Now that that looks pretty snazzy. But obviously the outer layer, we've still got the other jacket. So we're gonna need to we're gonna need colour in that. So for the sake of doing this, again, I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna remove the inner layer, the the the, the skin that tone. So I've just got the outer layer, and I'm also going to take off, uh, well, let's get, definitely get the legs off, and we, yeah, we're going to need all of that. So let's just take the head off for the time being, and then we'll work around it. So let's just start putting more yellow on here. You've got to be careful here not to, because you can see through the colours, and not to, I don't want to colour this in here, because that's actually, that's actually the side. Uh, so we've got to try and make sure we get the right angles at all times. I'm actually going to take off everything and just work, focus on one arm at a time. I think that's going to be the easiest way like so uh, and then we've got the actual body itself so we again we'll just take the arms off and we'll just focus on the body and just go up like that and this is still using the camo and I think it works well because it just gives it a bit more detail it makes it look, look a little less plain I, I I don't like plain skins they're just they're just well they seem plain for that that very reason to be honest um so let's uh, let's fill that in and fill all these we can go for a bigger brush here now there we have it. Let's place all the other layers back on, and there we go. And we have a nice yellow jacket, which um, looks snazzy. I will just show off the mirror tool as well while we're at it. Uh, so if we were to click on that, and then just change the colour to... Uh, let's go blue, uh, just so we can see what's going on. So if I just start drawing a line up here, you can see it mirrors on the opposite side exactly what I do, uh, which is really useful if you want to draw something that's like, um, I don't know, gloves that are going to be on both sides, for example. Uh, you can make sure you get it right both sides without having to, to do it more than once. It's, it's, a, it's a really clever way and an efficient way of doing this sort of thing. So yeah, that's the mirror tool. Another thing that we really want to look at is um, well, utilising the layers a bit more because we haven't really used that so far on this one. So if we were to look at importing, we can actually select different parts. So if we said, say, hat, for example, we can search different hats. So I can just load that in and uh, I mean, obviously I'd take the other take that skin away and that that's that hat for example now i can just try lots of different hats and i don't know which one's going to be the best one so i'll just i'll just try a few and just see what, what works so just minimize them and i am literally only looking at one thing so um that i think is is quite a cool hat so i like that 
but here's the thing it, it's not really compatible with my skin as it is because I, I I could probably do with the shave of my hair so let's um let's have a look at that so if we were to just minimize this for a second and uh, go back to that we can just take off the inner layer uh, and then go from there and we can just use we can just get rid of all of this so it can be a little bit tricky to do this if you're the first time uh, but basically there's an erase tool which is this one up here you need to click on that uh, but you need to make sure that you actually add the right layer so if we example if I'm sitting here and I, I click on the the erase tool um, nothing's happening because I'm actually erasing this top layer uh, so if we were to just get that back off just uh, so we want to be just here then it's just a case of clicking on the bits that you want to erase so just uh, click on that and uh, we're just going to remove all the, the the floppy hair on the top like so uh, then and once it's all gone uh, we, we, we can uh, we can s try the hats back on and see how that looks we'll keep the beard the beards the beards cool everyone loves a beard there we go. So if we do that, and then we, we can add that layer back on, uh, and then we can add this hat back on. So yes, that looks um, a bit better. We, we can't see our eyes, but that's fine. So maybe we'll tweak the hat a little bit. So there we go. And then we can put this back on, and there you go. Our eyes are now visible, and that looks marvellous. So then it's just a case of taking away these last few bits here, because um, we don't we don't want them on there. So that's, that's all good. Uh, then let's try that one more time. Uh, turn that back on. Excellent. We, we now have um, a lovely, lovely head uh, looking pretty pretty damn cool so we can say we're happy with that uh, if that's 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 maybe the, the skin we want to go with so all we need to do is come here and click export uh, and then it gives you some options you can share to gallery you can change change minecraft skin.net which we're not going to do or download to computer that's what we want to do. click on that that downloads it down here as you can see and it's time to go to minecraft so once you're in Minecraft, you want to navigate over to skins, click on that, and here you can see all the lists of your skins that you have available. You might just have Alex and Steve, or you might have a whole bunch of skins like I do. Click new skins, and then it'll give you the option to click browse. That then lets you find the skin you want. Now you probably got it in your downloads folder. I moved mine because I like to be organized, but it's probably in your downloads folder. Click the skin you want to do, and load it up. And there it is. It's looking pretty flashy. Now we can give this a name. Hello Geeky, why not? And there's an option to go for classic skin, which is just the standard skin, or you can go for slim which is slightly thinner arms uh, but um, I personally I prefer the classic skin it's uh, much better you can then choose to save or save and use if you just save it it will just save it as a new skin but keep your existing skin that you have on you if you save and use it changes the skin that you're playing with to that skin we're gonna do that and there you have it the skin is now in my list of skins ready to be used but unfortunately that's all we got time for today so if you enjoyed the video if you think you learned something don't forget to like comment subscribe and share do all that sort of stuff uh, but as always I've been Skinny Gamer you've been awesome and thanks for watching. Goodbye. Yeah,